we are on our way to Kukio Beach. I think it's what it's called. It's like a very sandy beach, but the thing is it's within a golf resort. You just have to go through the security gate and they say um, it's really hard to get a parking spot here. So we got really lucky because we came out 1 p.m. and we got the last parking spot. Yesterday we couldn't get a parking spot. That's why we went to the Four Seasons Beach, which was equally as nice, but I think I've heard more good things about this one. Um, but yeah, there's very limited parking. Looks like we're kind of, we have to walk on like a paved path to get there. And this time we have food with us. So I think we'll be staying for a while. So yesterday, that's the four seasons. So we're hanging out right there. was one of our longest days as the drive to Hawaii Volcanoes National Park was about two and a half hours long one way but good thing there were a few stops to make on the way first we went to try some of these world famous malasados which were really good and also spent some time at the black sand beach So we are at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. We got here around noon. We ate our sandwiches that we got from the bakery. And now we're doing our first little hike here. It's fairly short and it takes you down into the main crater. First part looks very rainforesty. <laughs> so we stopped by. Oh, they have nice. We got three plates. No, it comes with this. Comes with uh, this. Oh, you got curry. You got, you got curry, curry, curry. Fried rice, pad thai, and. See you. Oh, we didn't get like hot sauce or anything. No, so fine. We're just gonna eat here until we hike it later. All right, this is before the hike. I'm oh. chopping Oh, so someone will eat Thai food. Chef Scarlet is splitting it all up.
nice because there's like a really walkable town here and thankfully for us our resort is literally right there the little harbor here but it's a nice walk there's a lot of stores coming on each side so just walk on one side turn we turn at the AB the big ABC store and then turning back now yeah you can walk there's a whole bunch of restaurants coffee shops and you know get a quick bite or, or drink to eat and yeah, it is hot though. There's a farmer's market that happens almost every day. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Bye. down to Captain Cook and the drive in itself was super scenic. We were surrounded by a super lush rainforest and the Captain Cook area is a very popular spot for snorkeling tours and boat tours but we just wanted to check out the area for ourselves. We did do some snorkeling and it was very cool but I think the area where we snorkeled the day before at Kukio Beach was a lot better.
at our <laughs> second coffee farm. We're at the Greenwell car Coffee Farm. Um, just to kill some time before getting on our flight. This one seems a lot bigger than the one we did on our first day here. And Rainier. And Rainier, because we're like on the south side of Kona. Um, so yeah, should be fun. Mm -hmm. 